Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Fabric Mods in Minecraft 1.18. I know it says 1.17 here, but guess what? Forget that tutorial because the tutorial we're watching here will replace this one once it's live. But I'm recording it, so it's not live, so it's not replaced that one yet. Nevertheless though, at the end of this video, you will know exactly not only how to install Fabric, but how to install Fabric Mods, and we're going to talk about some of the complexities and APIs and things like that that you need to watch out for when installing Fabric Mods, so it's kind of important you watch the entire video. Once you've got Fabric set up, you're not quite done yet because Fabric Mods are a bit more complicated than other mods when it comes to APIs and things like that. So I want to make sure that we cover all that. So I'd recommend watching to the end of this video. First of all, though, we have a quick message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Whether you want it to be a fabric server, a forward server, a server with plugins, whatever you want, private, public server, it doesn't matter. You can do it all with Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So nevertheless, go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into how you can get Fabric and Fabric Mods. It's just a two-for-one video. It's awesome. Nevertheless, what we first want to do is go to this link. It's the second link down below. It's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for how to download and install Fabric. The video you're watching right now will actually be right up here at the top, and you can see our entire text tutorial for getting Fabric. I would recommend going through this if you want to kind of go through things at your own pace, a little slower, things like that. However, for most people, this video will be perfect, and we can go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to the official Fabric download page. Once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on the Download Installer Universal Slash Dot Jar button right here. Again, though, that was from our website. Just click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken here, where you want to click on the Download Installer Universal Jar. When you click on that, in the bottom left of Google Chrome, automatically Fabric will download. It's 100% safe to keep the file. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll probably need to save it in the center of your screen. We can then go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to go and get the Fabric file we downloaded. For me, that's going to be found in the Downloads folder. To do that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen. But that little Windows icon on the top bottom of your screen. Type in Downloads, hit Downloads File Folder here. Here. And then you want to go ahead and take Fabric Installer and drag and drop it to your desktop. Once Fabric's on your desktop, we can right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or the logo looks weird. It looks different, and I can't open this with Java. Well, if you do have Java here, click OK. It's going to open up the Fabric Installer. Press forward a few times, and you're good to go because you're here, you're where you need to be. But for those of you who can't open this or you don't have the file that just doesn't look correct, well, in that case, what you want to do is go to the description down below and download and install Java. And if you couldn't open up Fabric and you did have Java there, it's because you don't have Java 17, which is now needed for Fabric. So that's the biggest thing. 90% of the issues we're seeing with Forge, Fabric, Optifine, servers is because of Java 17. Good news is we have an in-depth guide here on how to get it. Click here, go through, download for Windows, and you'll be good to go, right? This tutorial goes through all of that but you do need Java 17. Once you've got that, you should be able to open up Fabric, but you still may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them all work happily together. At this point, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and you should have Java 17 installed. Maybe you've ran the jar fix. You can right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, click OK, and you'll get the Fabric installer here. From this point, it's very simple. You just want to make sure 1.18 is selected, and then click install. Then it's going to ask you if you have the Minecraft, basically, launcher from the Microsoft Store or the standalone Minecraft launcher. I have the Microsoft Store launcher. If you don't know, you probably have the Store launcher these days. That being said, if you try this, it doesn't work. You go into Minecraft, you know, the Minecraft launcher. Fabric's not there. It's nowhere to be found. Well, then come back and just redo this process and click the other launcher. It's that simple. It's not too complicated. Go ahead, click that. As you can see, Fabric Loader for 1.18 has been successfully installed. Many mods do require the Fabric API. We're gonna got you, we already got you covered on that, so don't require that. Or so don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and click OK. And there we go. Fabric's installed. Now, at this point, I want to make sure Fabric's there, but we're not even going to launch up Minecraft with Fabric yet because we need to install mods. So let's go ahead, delete the Fabric installer we downloaded. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here, and then we want to make sure that we do have Fabric, either the Fabric profile or that we can create one. Now, that being said, if you don't have the Fabric profile, so Fabric Loader here, for example, if like you click this little arrow next to the play button, Fabric Loader's not there, go back and click the other launcher, right? Let's say you click Microsoft Store, go back and click Windows. Let's say you click Windows, go back and click Microsoft Store if, uh, you know, you, you don't have the, or standalone, excuse me, click standalone if you click Microsoft Store or vice versa if you don't have Fabric here. But if you did 
try that, right? And you still don't have fabric here. Let me show you what to do. What you want to do is go on installations right up here at the top. Click on this new installation button. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible Minecraft survival and skyblock server. You should come play on it. And then we want to click on this version drop down box here and select release fabric loader right here. And then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so we can see once we do get in game. And then you can click create. And now you have a fabric profile. You have a play.breakdowncraft.com profile in my case that says fabric loader under it. You're good to go. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and get our mods installed. To do that, we want to download some mods. Now, in the description, I have th two technical mods and like ready to go. And for you to install, we're going to be installing the Xero's Minimap mod and the Roughly Enough Items mod. However, you need a lot of APIs. You need three. You need the Fabric API, which was mentioned in the Fabric installer. You need the Cloth API, which is for roughly enough items. And you need the Architecture API, which is for roughly enough items. See why I said you need to watch this entire video? Because it's a lot. Nevertheless, we need the Fabric API basically no matter what. This is a default. Now, sure, if you don't want roughly enough items, you don't need Cloth Config and the Architecture API. But the Fabric API, you're going to need no matter what. And it is linked in the description down below. Nevertheless, once you're here on our website, this shows you how to install it. Just click on this yellow Download Fabric API button to be taken to the official Fabric API download page. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.18. And then you have the 1.18 Fabric API under it. Click the orange Download button to begin the download process. Now, just like all the mods we're about to download here, you're going to need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. And it's completely safe. Now we want to go ahead and download Xero's Minimap, which is actually requires Fabric API. That's why you had to download it for this set of mods. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and click on this download Xero's Minimap button. And then on the right hand side, we want to make sure that we're downloading the four fabric version of this mod. Now, as you can see on the previous version, 117, there was a forge and a fabric version. So make sure that when you're downloading mods for fabric, you're downloading the mods that are for the fabric version. So let's go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. And the download will begin after a few seconds, right? Like so, right? Now you kind of know this process at this point. It's the same for all these mods. So I'm going to go ahead a little faster on this. Here we have roughly enough items. Click on the download button. And on the right hand side, we want to make sure we're downloading that fabric version. Bam, there you go. You want to repeat this process for both the cloth config and architecture if you're installing roughly enough items because it requires both of these. So right hand side, bam, download there. Architecture API, same thing. Come over to the right hand side and click that download button. And it's that simple to download these mods from Curse Forge. But the big part is making sure you know what mods are needed. For example, as you can see, this requires both of these versions here and that's where it's listed it's hard to see that and that's a lot of times an issue you'll run into with these fabric mods so a lot of them do require a lot of different apis whether it is you know the the fabric api itself or whether it's third-party apis like cloth config or architecture Nevertheless, though, we've now got all of these downloaded. We can minimize our browser and they're going to be found in our downloads folder. So let's go ahead. We've already done this process and go into our downloads folder and drag all of these to our desktop for ease of use, right? Once these are on our desktop, we can then close out of the downloads folder and we want to get to the mods folder. To do this, you want to press the Windows button in the top left of your screen. Again, that little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, and then type in run. You'll then have this run app appear. Click on that. And in this run app, we want to type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent, app data percent, right like so, and hit enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder where we have a dot Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder. As you can see, right there is mine. But if you don't have a mods folder, no worries. Just create one. Just right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then to install these fabric mods, all you want to do is drag and drop them into your mods folder, right like so. I also want to mention that if you have older mods in your mods folder, you should remove those or create a folder in here called like old mods or something like that, because those will try to run and they will break your fabric. So you want to make sure that all your mods in the fabric mods folder are 1.18. Otherwise, they're not going to work. Now we can go ahead, close out of our mods folder. We can open up the Minecraft launcher again, and we've already got our fabric or, you know, created our fabric profile. So it's pretty easy to play. All we need to do is click this little arrow next to the play button, select the profile with fabric loader under it, and then click play. You'll then need to confirm your playing mod in Minecraft, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with your fabric mods installed, as well as fabric itself installed, right? Pretty simple, pretty easy, and yeah, that was a lot. It was pretty fast, but that's what fabric, you know, the downside of fabric is, in my opinion, is that you need the fabric API. And then a lot of mods have their own APIs that you need to install as well. It's kind of complicated. And that's why 
videos like this are so helpful, but also kind of the downside of fabric. So nevertheless, though, there are a ton of fabric mods and they can all be installed using this exact same method that we just outlined in this video. Don't be alarmed, by the way, if it takes a while to open up. 1.718 seems to be longer to open up anyway, but nevertheless, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world because these are new mods, and we'll call this Fabric Mods, right like so. And oops, Fabric Mods. I'm going to go into Creative because that's easier for me for these videos, and then create the new world. I will do a quick jump cut and meet you once we're in game, and this world's created. So here we are loaded in game. We do have the mini map up here in the top left. We can also, I believe there's a setting for Xero's mini map. I just I don't, I don't remember what the button is. There it is. I think it was, was that Y. Yeah. Yes, why? Opens this up. You can turn the mini map on and off. You can change the position. For example, we can move it over here to the right hand side. You can make it, you know, bigger, smaller, change the overlay settings and waypoints, which is really cool. You can add in waypoints as well with Hexero's mini map. But nevertheless, that's installed and roughly enough items is installed right here it is over here on the right hand side let's say we wanted to figure out how to craft an acacia boat well there is how to craft it oh it's, i think it's uh what what, what, is, what is happening there you can always edit this setting oh, okay which one do we want okay there we go we want this setting there we go and there's how to craft an acacia boat how do you get acacia that's how how do you get acacia logs well when you click on it, it doesn't take you anywhere that means you mine it nonetheless thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible minecraft content every single day of the week we have tons of tutorials that come out tons of 1.18 tutorials that are coming out for example fort forge is out now for 1.18 in addition to fabric and we have a tutorial on how to install it either on the way or it's probably already out when you're watching this video my name is nick this has been the break Again, thank you for watching, and I am out. Peace.